According to the Walked Examples principle, learners gain deep understanding in multimedia-based learning environments when they receive Walked Examples in the initial cognitive skill acquisition. So what exactly is involved in learning from Walked Examples? A typical procedure for learning from Walked Examples has the following sequence. First, a principle is introduced. Second, multiple Walked Examples are provided to illustrate how the principle is applied to problem solving. And lastly, when learners have gained some understanding of how to apply the principle, they work on the problems to be solved on their own. What you just saw was a simple worked examples procedure in math, but worked examples can be more complex and are effective in many other domains such as science, writing skills, communication skills, research procedures, program planning and valuations, project management, sports, and anything that has to do with skill acquisition. Let me show you an example of a complex multimedia-based work examples instruction. In one study by Rommel and others, advanced psychology students and medical students sought to acquire skills for interdisciplinary cooperation. In two worked examples conditions, students either watched a video of a psychology student and a medical student collaborating to make the correct diagnosis for Mr. Z who suffers from a cardiac dysrhythmia with additional symptoms of a panic disorder, or were given scripted and detailed step-by-step -step instructions to follow for a successful interdisciplinary cooperation for diagnosis. The video showed how the two students successfully collaborated every step of the way throughout the whole diagnostic process, and learners watching the collaboration examples on video learned to perform a superior joint diagnosis as compared with their counterparts who received the detailed scripted instructions. One of the main advantages of a worked examples instruction is the reduced extraneous cognitive load through providing learners with a scaffolding or crutches until they learn to perform the task on their own at the initial stage of learning. However, in a complex multimedia based worked examples instruction such as this example, it is really easy to overload learners' working memory capacity due to high element interactivity so it's important to design it in a manner that does not impose excess cognitive load by using proper load management techniques, as explained by the classic principles of multimedia learning, such as segmenting, spatial and temporal contiguity, multimedia, modality, redundancy, and so on. So again, worked examples are designed to support the initial acquisition of cognitive skills. Learning from worked examples is typically more efficient, that is, learners achieve the same or better learning outcomes in less learning time. So worked examples can be very effective in many domains if other cognitive load management techniques are implemented successfully to reduce the extraneous cognitive load.